Here are two more points, and we want to find the distance between these two points, and we want to find the midpoint. Expect to see problems like this on your test. I'll give you two order pairs. You find the distance, you find the midpoint. So the distance. Make sure you know the formula. <coughs> what is the formula for distance? What do you remember? Change of x squared plus the change of y. Change in x squared plus the change in y squared. That's all inside the square root. Where did this formula come from again? Pythagorean. The Pythagorean theorem. If for some reason you forgot the formula, reconstruct it based on the Pythagorean theorem, something that I know you guys know. So let's work this. What's the difference in my x's from negative 3 to 9 is a change of how many units? It's nine. What did I say? Nine. So from negative 3 to 6 is a change of 9. What's the change in the, I'm just going to say the y coordinate so I don't give you the answer. Don't even go to, are you seriously? I'm just squaring it. Oh. What's the dis <laughs> difference? Funny. Thank you. I can't even talk today. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, well, we got some math to work out here. But are you guys okay with me getting 9 and 15? Mm -hmm. What's 9 squared? <coughs> What's 15 squared? 225. So when I combine these, I have what? 306. Well, I've got to factor this. You know what? I'm going to do that up here on the side. I'm going to show you that, you know, I ain't afraid of no ghost. 2 goes in here 153 times. Is that right? 2 doesn't go into this anymore, does it? So we better use 3. 3 goes in. 51 times. Does 3 go into 51? 17. It goes in 17 times. What are you going to do with the 17? Nothing. Nothing because it's what? Prime. prime. These are your prime factors for 306. What gets to come out of the radical? Three. You have a pair of 3's. So a 3 comes out. What stays on the inside? 14. 17 times 2, which okay. is? 34. Wasn't that fun? We got to go back and play around with radicals. Oh, so we don't have to worry about i and none of that since we're talking about distance. We're talking about distance, and there should be no place for it because when you square a real number, oh, you get a positive number. When you square a real, you still get positive. Okay. That's a good question. There should be no rooms for no room for i's at all. Now, let's talk about the midpoint. Now, remember <coughs> the midpoint and the formula for this. I try to make it easy for you. It's just the average of the coordinates. That's all it is. It's the average of the coordinates. Okay. So let's see, my x-coordinates were, well, kind of zoomed out of the picture. What is that? Negative 3 and 6. Negative 3 plus 6 divided by 2, and the y-coordinates are? Negative 5 and 10. Negative 5 plus 10 over 2. So what do I have here for my midpoint? So 3 halves and 5 halves. 3 halves and 5 halves. You know, just to kind of to verify that what you have here makes sense. If you did a very rough and cheap graph, it doesn't have to be anything special. I've got negative 3, negative 5 is right here. The other order pair is 6, 10, so here's 6, 10 is going to be somewhere up here. So here is the line segment that connects these two guys. Now I come up with the midpoint being 3 halves and positive 5 halves, which looks to be somewhere right about here. Does that look to be about midway or halfway between those two points? It may not be exact. 
I'm not getting something that's exact here because I just very sloppily hand drew something. But at least it's close enough for me to make sure that it makes sense. 